Did you know that your unconscious mind is way more powerful than your willpower? Because your willpower is often seen as a conscious effort to control your behavior, your thoughts, your emotions, while your unconscious mind operates automatically. And this means it has a much bigger influence. So in this audio, you're going to have a really deep understanding of how your unconscious mind is way more powerful than you think, and it's way more smarter than you think, especially compared to willpower. My name is Alex Morgan, and I hope you align your actions, your beliefs, your dreams, and your thinking so that you can achieve success. And success is here. And one of the easiest ways to be ready for success is to understand that your unconscious mind is much more powerful than your willpower. And this is really easy to see because the willpower that you have, it's limited. It has limited energy. Your willpower is a finite resource. So really, tasks that require self-control. Oftentimes someone says, I'll just use my willpower. I'll resist temptation. And they have to will themselves to stay focused or make decisions. This is a resource that you can only use for so long. Once this becomes depleted, it makes it much more difficult to actually do that. And you're much more prone to making an impulsive decision or going back to an old habit. Where on the other hand, the unconscious mind, it operates continuously and automatically. It's going on in the background every single second of every single day. And it's actually never exhausting itself because it's going outside of your conscious awareness, whether you think about that or not. What do you think is going when you're sleeping? What's breathing for you? What's pumping your heart, your blood, and refreshing you so when you wake up the next day you're feeling good? Your unconscious mind. Your unconscious mind isn't a finite resource. It's infinite. And it has so many things that can really help you. In fact, it drives most of your behavior about 95% of things are done with the unconscious mind and these automatic processes are many things that you do every single day deeply ingrained habits emotional responses beliefs that you have these are extremely powerful and they kind of shape your whole reality however what if you tried to change beliefs responses habits and things that are deep inside of you. Do you think that you could really do that with only using sheer willpower? Well, willpower, it can help you resist doing something for a short period of time. Let's say someone is on a diet or they're trying to quit a bad habit like smoking or something like that. Well, you can certainly do that for a short amount of time. However, eventually your willpower is going to not want to resist any longer it's going to want to give in however what if your unconscious mind was conditioned with a certain pattern it had the pattern for success that can allow you to go on that diet not really even a diet it could allow you to change your lifestyle to make different choices so the point here is that it takes much more than willpower to create lasting change. It takes changing at the unconscious level. Because if you think about it, willpower only deals with the surface level. You can consciously think about focusing on or stopping a certain thing, a specific behavior. However, all those behaviors, those habits, those emotions, they're all stored in the unconscious mind. So if you don't address the root cause of those things in the unconscious mind, then your willpower alone is not going to allow you to create any lasting change. Let's say someone wants to stop procrastinating. Maybe that willpower works for a bit. They really will themselves to do something every single day. However, if you use the unconscious mind, it's eventually going to override that willpower and take you back to a old habit. 
However, what if you got to the root cause of why you were procrastinating and you realized why you were procrastinating and you were able to get rid of that reason of why you were procrastinating and instead you could put new reasons of why you should be totally motivated to achieve whatever it is you want and you put all those reasons in your unconscious mind. Do you think your willpower would care about procrastination anymore? No. It would be like having a battle of one person up against all these motivated people. Who do you think is going to win the battle? All those motivated people. So imagine putting all that emotion and all that motivation, those good feelings mixed with motivation. That's a strategy for success right there. And that will begin to drive your behavior. Now, the other thing is emotions. They're often more powerful than the willpower that you have and that you consciously want to use. And these emotions often override conscious control, especially with negative emotions, things like fear, anxiety, anger, sadness, hurt, guilt. All of those emotions, they throw any rational and logical thinking out the window. And those emotions can even overpower your willpower. So if you have really strong emotions, those can overpower your willpower. So someone may use willpower to suppress those feelings. However, the more you suppress those feelings, the more rooted they get in the unconscious mind. And the more you suppress those feelings, it can lead to other things, maybe like stress, burnout, or behaviors that you do not want. So what if you can use the unconscious mind to actually get rid of those emotions instead of using your willpower? And that's the wonderful thing is you can't because you deserve to. And if you need help getting rid of any negative emotions, reach out to me. All my information will be in the description of the audio. Or you can watch other videos that I have that specifically talk about letting go of negative emotions. And I'll put some of these in the description of this audio so that you can easily access them. Now, the willpower that you have... Another thing that makes the unconscious mind that much more powerful is the willpower you have is reactive. It often wants to do something for you when you face a challenge, a some sort of temptation, or even an obstacle. So it's reacting to something that's already happening. And that means then you have to put in extra effort. You have to then try so hard. To exert that effort in the moment to overcome that specific thing that you don't really want. Where the unconscious mind, it's continuously going on in the background like I mentioned earlier. So it's being proactive. And this means that if you are proactive and actually controlling and mastering your unconscious mind. And you're telling it what to do in a way that benefits you. That means you can shape your perceptions, your emotions, your automatic responses, your behaviors, the language that you use, the way you think, all in a way that benefits you. So even if something, a challenge, a temptation, an obstacle comes up, even if you consciously resist that through willpower, the unconscious mind still might influence your feelings, thoughts, and future actions without you actually realizing it. So the unconscious mind is that powerful. So if you really want to stop using so much effort and attention and stop being mentally exhausted, then don't use your willpower. Instead, on the other hand, you can use the unconscious mind as operating automatically in the background. And it's guiding most of the things that you do. In fact, 95% of things you do without using conscious effort. That's why I always say, if you put more effort in your unconscious mind, you'll have to put less effort in the physical. If you're putting all your effort in the physical, 
it's going to lead to probably anxiety, burnout, stress, negative emotions, anything else. So if you rely on willpower, it's going to wear down over time. So if you really want to align with the unconscious mind and create lasting change, then you need to program your mind for success. And some of the easiest ways to do that are listening to the other audios on this channel, watching other videos on this channel, and aligning your mind with what you really want because your mind gives you what you focus on 100% of the time and your mind is way smarter than you think. And you can also listen to any hypnosis audios that I put on this channel every single Wednesday. Those will help you align your mind and align with your mind. Because if you're listening, I'm sure you want success. So that willpower may help you in the moment. However, the unconscious mind is going to allow you to influence your behaviors, your emotions, your habits, really anything and everything. Everything and anything you can influence with your unconscious mind. So go along with it instead of fighting against it. Kind of like you're doing with that willpower. Thanks so much for listening to this audio. Go ahead and let me know what you think is important about the unconscious mind. Now that you know it's much more powerful than your willpower, you can comment below with that information. If you haven't already, go ahead and like the audio and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate everyone who's been subscribing lately. It helps me make audios every single day. So I really do appreciate each and every one of you who likes the videos, likes the audios, leaves comments, leaves suggestions and recommendations on what you would like to listen to or watch. Thanks so much for listening, and I hope to see you on the next video or the next audio.